after the Japanese defeated the Russians in 1905 they became a world power. And most of their resources did go to the navy, but the army realized they needed to pick up on their tank forces and tank crew training. So they set up several tank schools. One of these schools was Wakashishi and this training grounds is located close to the town of Fuji no Miya, at the foot end of Mount Fuji. From what I could find out is that this school was erected in 1939, but plans for this school and building of it started in 1929, but I'm not sure of this. Because I could not find a good source for this anywhere, and I'm also doubting the date, because 9 first year students from this school died in the Second Chino-Japanese War, and that started in 1937. So I think Imperial Tank Trading started in 1936, 1937, and the building of this school finished in 1939. In 1933 the school had its 6 years of training students, and this is also the year the American Air Force started bombing this place, pretty much halting the tank training. The school still went on training tank crew for 2 more years, but with a lot more difficulty and less supplies and manpower, until the surrender of Japan in 1945. Today there isn't much left of the tank school, only for one gate and a concrete road, now used as a parking lot. The school was demolished after the war, but it also severely bombed at the end of the war and the bombings destroyed almost everything, making it easier to demolish of course. You can also find Wakashishi Shrine here. This shrine is dedicated to the 600 fallen soldiers of Wakashishi Tank School. The shrine was erected in 1982 by a former students and teachers and is still maintained by former teachers to this day. The memorial pillow was also designed by a former teacher and has some words from the emperor on it. You can also find a Type 97 Jihad tank. This tank was found in a bay in Saipan together with another Type 97. Both were salvaged from the water and one was sent to the Yasukuni World War II Museum and restored. The one at this location is in a really bad condition and is a few years away from being a pile of rust. But I will get back to both these tanks in another separate video. This is one of the old entrances with the name still on the door, on, on the pillar and with the old concrete from the 40s and this is all that is pretty much left from the tank school from back in the day. You can see a map and you can see where we are right there. And pretty much all of this were school buildings. And military grounds. Memorial pillar designed by one of the school teachers that teaches that teached here in the 1940s It's designed to withstand earthquakes and everything. And it has a few words from the emperor on it. And this is the second memorial and the only memorial that has specific words and text written by the emperor on it. This is a memorial with the names of the students that died from this school. So the first year 
only a few students. Second year, some more. The third year, and then fourth year, five year, and the sixth year, and the seventh year, there are a lot. And that's because the Americans bombed this school and a lot of the students died because of only the bombings and they didn't even die in battle and the last the eighth year only one student died and there are also some names removed I have no idea what that's all about There's the tank. Many students learned were taught by jihad tanks here. And there's footage of this school where you can see the jihad tanks drive around. It's really in a terrible condition. The people that maintain the shrine say they can't maintain the rust, but probably if you just paint it more and more, it probably hold up a much longer. You see some of the battle damage circled, and that's a really uh, awkward circle there. Train a dick and bout. <laughs> that's some naughty battle damage. See some of the battle damage eh? to the front, to the side of that armor plate, and more. So this tank took part in the Battle of Saipan, and you can see all the battle damage on there. See where it was knocked out. Maybe it took part in the uh, Great Charge with tanks in Saipan. But later it was dumped in the channel near Saipan and there it was found in the 1970s again. It was also probably dumped because a lot of tank parts and other World War II material were dumped in sea. Also, why it's in such a terrible condition. There was also in the clean out the tank, they found the remains of the crew inside. So they were at the bottom of the channel for a long time. But as you can see the Chiha is pretty rusty and the people that maintain her are probably doing all they can. 
But if your income comes only from donations, you don't have money lying around. But if I look on some of the sites, I think the people that maintain this tank have restored a Hago tank to running condition. So that was probably not cheap to do. So probably in the near future they will restore this one as well. But it's still really sad to see a tank in such an awful condition. But sometimes you have to make smart decisions and you can't restore them all at once. But if you want to visit this place the best thing you can do is get a taxi or rent a bike like I did. Keep in mind that you have to pedal your way uphill close to Mount Fuji so it's not for everyone. And if you're not really a biker for sport you're probably going to get a heart attack. Another way to get here is by bus. But that will get really tricky really fast if you don't speak Japanese. Even though it's not easy to reach. This is a nice historical place that I would recommend any history buff to check out. Furthermore, and this is the last thing I wanted to say and this is something I seem to not get my head around. I get the sort of imperial pilgrimage feeling from these places and they seem to really focus on the imperial Japanese soldier. And I always had mixed feelings with monuments like these. I get that it has everything to do with the culture and the religion but it always feels like places like this are begging for victim points from the public and they seem to forget that Japan was the aggressor and not the victim here and it just feels wrong. Not that this point of history needs to be forgotten and the soldiers that died have a place in history too and they all died for their country so they deserve a place to be remembered. But it sort of feels like Yasukuni Shrine to me and you can't ask for victim points and place false information like Yasukuni Shrine does. Because it's just distorting history and disrespectful to other people that suffered under the Japanese rule. But on that note, and I hear the angry pro-Japanese apologizers typing in the comments below already, I'm going to end this video. Let me know your thoughts on all of this and I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 o